Hello and welcome to the Craft Beer Corner. For today's beer review, we're jumping into a beer that uh, I got in my Russian River Brewing Company sampler pack I got from Craft Shack. And this is a beer I hadn't opened the entire box. They're wrapped very, very well. So it actually takes a little bit of effort to get them out of their uh, packaging. Uh, but I caught on Instagram, uh, one of my fellow craft beer connoisseurs had posted, hey, I just tried this beer from Russian River and uh, my verdict, it's better than Pliny the Elder. Fight me. And I said, okay, wow. If somebody's claiming this is better than Pliny, that's, uh, that's a pretty bold statement. And I expected that uh, there would be plenty of opinion on the matter immediately on that post. Indeed, there was. And while certainly I don't think that uh, having, a, having a different opinion than somebody else about a beer is grounds for fisticuffs, it's absolutely grounds for exploration. So I went back to my uh, package I got from Craft Shack, and sure enough, Blind Pig is the name of the beer today. It's the beer in question, and it is another IPA. This one's not Imperial, only clocks in at 6.25% ABV, but I do have a bottle so I can formulate my own opinion. Russian River, of course, based in Santa Rosa, California. So label art on this, um, uh, it's got, you know, a pig with sunglasses on, um, cane, mug of beer in his hand. So keeping with the theme of the nomenclature. So let's just get this cracked. Just like the Pliny that we reviewed several uh, episodes ago, this is a nice big tall can. I think a pint plus 1.25 ounces. Uh, that's correct. So 17 and a quarter ounces. So we'll get this poured right in our all purpose glass. Oh yeah, that's pouring a lovely, lovely deep golden yellow color. Classic IPA. In terms of appearance, this one appears to be forming quite a nice head here too. So visually, yeah, true deep golden yellow color. It's got a pretty active carbonation, but it's not going super, super fast. So that head might actually stick around for a while. Really tight. Uh, fine champagne size carbonation rushing up. Yeah, nice, thick, creamy head. Let's give this a whiff. Oh yeah. Yeah, that smells really nice. Now, it does smell actually uh, distinctly different from Pliny. This one, I'm actually getting a lot of tropical, root, tropical fruit aromas on the nose. It's uh, got kind of this pineapple, mango, passion fruit, and almost berry-like vibe coming off of it. And that almost makes me wonder if maybe mosaic is one of the hops they put in here, uh, especially with the berry aroma. That's one of the big ones, obviously. Blueberry can impart, uh, obviously, some of the same nuances in the flavor profile, but it smells absolutely fantastic. There's a little bit of a citrus vibe to it, and that's really the two major, major hop dominant aromas I'm getting off of this, tropical fruit and citrus. It smells absolutely fantastic. It smells like many, many IPAs that we've smelled before. This one, nice, bold, pungent, very clean to pick out the nuances of these aromas. It looks fantastic. The head just formed. It's retaining beautifully. So let's just jump right in and see what Blind Pig is about. Okay, yeah, that's a very nice IPA. Wow, yeah, this is a good one, guys. So the first thing I can tell you is that in terms of the body and the mouthfeel, it feels textbook. IPA at 6.25% ABV, that's kind of on the lower end of average. It's not super low, it's not super high, it's just kind of in the low end of average. So it's not as big as, say, a 7-8%. It is what it is, but it feels appropriate for the ABV range. The body is spot on. It's got this nice kind of medium, full round medium body to it. Feels exactly right. The other thing I can say is the mouthfeel. It feels um, resistant, but the primary source of the resistance is really coming from the fact that this one gets ridiculously velvety creamy, just silky smooth. It's like liquid velvet moving across the palate as you agitate, and it's got the right amount of resistance. So plenty of mouthfeel on this is picture perfect for the style in this ABV range. Absolutely fantastic. The next thing I can tell you is, in terms of the bitter profile, this one is maybe not quite as intensely bitter up front as say Pliny is, but it's also, um, you know, its own separate animal. Now, typically in my experience, uh, when you get in Imperials such as Pliny, they tend to be a lot more hop dominant, a lot more um, 
uh, aroma and flavor profile, but their bitters aren't quite as heavy as a standard IPA. This being a standard IPA, um, I wasn't sure what to expect. I actually do think in the instance between just comparing these two beers, that Pliny does have a bit more forward IBUs, at least to the perception of my palate compared to this, but this is very, very nice, very, very nice. It's got a very nice earthy, bitter flavor profile with subtle uh, bits of kind of pine and resin. And actually that flavor profile is uh, my preference for uh, hop flavor profile on any IPA anyway. So just from knee jerk reaction, I'm gonna say this is a very, very fine beer. At the end, we'll get to my final thoughts on this. Not that this is, is a comparison video, but for the sake of at least giving you my feelings on how I think this compares to Pliny. But back to this beer, it's its own thing. Absolutely fantastic. It's got a very, very clean um, uh, hop profile flavor as well. It's distinctly earthy and pine. So you get this wonderful tropical fruit and citrus on the nose, but in the flavor profile, it's earthy and resinous and piney. It's absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna jump back in, second sip, let everything re-intensify, then we'll pick apart the balance and the finish. On first sip, really, really nice IPA, yet again from Russian River. Take two. Yeah, it's really nice. There is actually a little bit of the flavor profile of that kind of tropical fruit with those nuances before it starts to slowly blossom up with the intensity of the bittering. And it's very clean, it's very nice. So you do get little suggestions of tropical fruit, then it immediately opens into a wonderful mix of earthy and resinous pine. And actually on second sip, I'm not so sure that this, at least to my palate, doesn't have a bit more intensity than Pliny. I would almost have to have them side by side. But yeah, it's impressive. I would say IBU perception to my palate, it's got to be at least 65 to 70. It has a nice kick of bitters up front and not only just the bittering, but the flavor profile, just like the aroma profile. It's absolutely delicious and you can pick out all of the nuance which does bring me to the balance so it's an ipa we talk about this all the time the ipa is a beer style that is all about the hop so when we're talking balance we're talking about balance between whatever grain bill they selected hops volumes where they put it in in various stages ratios and the process for this one spot on whatever the grain bill is it's got a wonderful underpinning for wonderful mouthfeel weight and texture to go with this ipa whatever hops they chose work beautifully together just full of big big aroma that's very nuanced and the same is true in the flavor profile and it is certainly not lacking in the bittering department in terms of the finish it's only only a standard 6.2 percent abv ipa but like I said, it does have quite a hop bittering presence and it does really linger on this palate. That thick, silky, velvety mouthfeel just really coats this one well on the palate and all of those hop resins and hop molecules all over the palate and it really does linger. Quite clearly, distinctly still lingering, earthy and kind of pine and tar and resin is fantastic. This is one of those that if you're into big West Coast style IPAs is not to be missed. I am equally as blown away by this one as I was by Pliny at first sip. So I'm gonna do this the justice it deserves. I'm gonna take my time, sip on this beer, coat my scores. When we come back, we will get this one ranked from top to bottom. All right, now that we've gotten to enjoy this beer, we're gonna get it ranked. This was Russian River Brewing Company's Blind Pig, an IPA clocking in at 6.25% ABV, Russian River based in Santa Rosa, California. So yeah, guys, this beer was absolutely incredible. Um, I kind of expected it would be just given how great Pliny the Elder that we reviewed several videos back was for an Imperial IPA, and this is a standard IPA. 
And in general, I do prefer standard IPAs because most Imperials, once they start getting the higher ABV, the bitter forward nature of the hops, even though they are in an IPA, tends to start to dial back. There's just so much more malt in there. Um, you know, it tends to overtake it, but that was not the case in Pliny. So I had very high hopes for this beer and it did not let me down at all. <clears throat> I loved everything about this beer. In fact, I would say for a 6.25, which is kind of on the lower end of average for a standard IPA, this was all you could possibly want, all you could ask for. If I could readily get these anywhere near me, I would have this in my daily rotation, like Sierra Nevada Torpedo Extra IPA is my daily go-to. Big, very pine, resinous, forward hop profile out of those Magnum hops, and that one's 7%. This, if I could drop the ABV and grab it, equally as awesome for all the same reasons. Guys, uh, we don't really need to go through these scores because if you couldn't potentially tell just from what we experienced, it did indeed get into that illustrious small cluster of beers that has made a perfect score. We still, out of the hundreds we've reviewed to date, don't even have 20 that have done that yet. So a mighty, mighty feat indeed. It did get a perfect 10 out of 10 in all 10 categories. That's a rum up, taste, body, mouthfeel, finish, head and retention, appearance, balance, feeling and intangible, my subjective thoughts category and example of style for a total score of 100. Absolutely top tier IPA, guys. Um, unbelievable. I have had the best luck. I, I had been hearing so much talk about Russian River Brewing. Finally saw that they had them on Craft Shack. So I knew I was gonna be jumping into some great beers if they lived up to the hype and they absolutely have guys this is just another brilliant brilliant beer by russian river they are quickly moving their way up the ladder into one of my favorite brewers in the country right now i'm going to keep my eyes on craft shack to see what other new beers they get in stock this is a world-class one if you're a big west coast style hop head as i am this is one you have got to try now if you're like me you cannot get a Russian River from a normal supplier, just hop on Craft Shack. They will get you sorted right and ship it straight to your door. Folks, that's today's review. As always, I do sincerely appreciate you tuning in today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to stay in the loop when our videos go live, just turn on your notifications, hit that bell icon. It is right next to the subscribe button. Until next time, keep it beer, keep it craft. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.